as a young rookie interviewer myself, I was very impressed really by Parkinson's unique style. I don't think any other interviewer has ever been quite the same and, and had the same style as, as Parky has. Parky would do all his homework and he'd know his stuff, but his belief was very much that the interviewee should be centre stage and he was just a, a conduit. He was just somebody who nudged in the right direction. But the centre stage had to go to the celebrity he was interviewing. And so often you'd think, well, he hasn't asked a question for three or four minutes. He's just sitting there looking wise and with, he used to press his fingers together. And, um, but he, he knew what was coming and he knew when to nudge and when not to nudge. And, and I think that was a, a, a unique skill that you just don't see these days he, he was very special and of course interviewed everybody absolutely everybody who was somebody in the whole world hollywood pop the pop world the actors um, comedians if they were somebody he interviewed them i think he said there was something like more than 2000 interviews he'd done in his career um i think con uh, compared with um, anybody else apart from david attenborough i don't think his his career can be as stellar as anybody else's. Perhaps David yeah. Attenborough's the only person who'd rival him. I think it's the fact that he was so well respected by all of these people as well. I mean, the Muhammad Ali interviews, you know, you've got this guy here, heavyweight champion of the world, doesn't take any messing from anybody, has seen everyone come and go, raised in the American chat show culture. And you can just see him, that kind of giant of a man, sitting there next to Michael Parkinson and just thoroughly respecting him, playing with him, toying with him a little bit. And it was that fondness and the twinkle in the eye, I think. But what was he like behind the scenes? Was he relaxed? Was he calm? Was he unflappable? Um, he, pre he pretty much was, actually. Yes, he was. He was always very, very kind of level-headed, very sensible. Um, uh, he didn't crack a lot of jokes, I suppose, but he was, he was always somebody who was nice to be around and you felt, you felt comfortable with him. You know, he was a, he was a, he was a very comfortable person to be with. And, uh, and calming. And he was never phased by anything. I've never seen him phased, but possibly with the exception of Emu there. <laughs> and even then, he did quite well, didn't he? Considering, I don't know how everybody, anybody else would have coped with that situation. But he was always very calm and very much put himself second always to the situation, um, apparently. Although, you know, as I say, he knew his homework and he knew what he was doing, absolutely.